Hi guys and welcome back to Prem Nature. A little time ago, back in May, I decided to go to my local park and collect some mud from the bottom of a pond and make an ecosphere with it. When we arrived at the park, we saw that the swans who had recently been protecting a nest of eggs were showing their newly hatched signets around the pond. These signets were only two or three days old, so I had to take a video of them and show you guys how cute they are. I went back not so long ago, and these signets are a lot bigger now, they grow so quickly. Anyway, as well as the large pond which I just showed you, there's also this smaller pond which is where I intend on collecting the mud from in order to make the ecosphere. I took a trowel with me, a jam jar, and a water bottle. And I used the trowel to collect some mud from the bottom of the pond and put it inside the jam jar. The reason I'm doing it like this and not making the ecosphere where I am is because the jar that I'm using for the ecosphere doesn't have a very good seal on it, so I was afraid of the lid coming off and leaking in my bag. So I'm collecting the mud in a jam jar just to keep it nice and secure. And the same with the water, I'm collecting water in a bottle just to keep it nice and secure so it doesn't leak. But this might be the easiest ecosphere I've ever made because all it is, is mud and water. And then we're just going to leave it and see what appears out of the mud. So I took what I collected home and began to put it inside of the jar which I'm going to be using for the ecosphere. I tried to use every single bit of mud that I collected, so I made sure to swill the jam jar out to get every last drop. The featured comment for this video is from Hunter21 who says loves the channel, it's really interesting and greetings from Spain. So thank you so much for that lovely comment. If you want to be featured in the next video make sure you leave a comment down below and you might just be the lucky person who gets picked. Look at the colour of that water. It is absolutely black. Like I said, the only thing in this ecosphere is mud and water. So it's only to be expected that the water might be that colour at this stage. But we'll leave it for some time and it'll quickly clear up. So it's time now to put it on my windowsill, along with the rest of my ecospheres and let it settle down overnight. We'll take a quick look tomorrow to see what we can see. So, it's the next day, but let's have a look. The water is actually still quite cloudy, but one thing that I did notice is that we've actually managed to collect a tiny little bit of duckweed. And then I noticed all of these lines going through the mud and I had no idea what it was until I looked a little bit later after the water had cleared up even more and I saw all of these worms wiggling around. There's so many of them and I don't know what they are but they look funky. So now we're a month later and all of the worms are still there, they're still wiggling around. That's the only really thing you notice straight away but there's also some small little snails that have managed to grow up. I can only assume from eggs. But that was it. That's all I could see, some worms and some snails. However, three months later. This is what the ecosphere looks like now. As you can see, it's become summer, and I can only assume that the heat has caused this algae bloom. The whole ecosphere is now filled with algae. But if we take a closer look, you can see that the worms are still there. They're still there wriggling around. But now that it's been a bit longer, it's been three months now, there's actually some more things to see. So we can see that the snails are still there, but if you look closely, you can also see little things such as Daphnia and other small crustaceans swimming around in the water. This clip is sped up so you can see things a bit more clearly. 
but you can see the snails and all sorts of other little creatures swimming around within the ecosphere. And what's interesting, I think, is that the mud seems to be moving. I thought it might be a cool idea just to take the lid off and have a look inside at the surface. And the first thing I'm greeted with, the only thing I'm greeted with, is just all that algae. It's so thick of algae inside there. But that's great, all the algae will be providing oxygen to the animals, so it's absolutely fantastic that it's there. It's proving that this ecosphere is an established, sustainable ecosystem. The algae will eat all the ammonia and nitrate in the water, meaning that the water stays somewhat decent quality, and as a result, it'll give off oxygen for the animals to breathe. So there we go. That's a mud ecosphere. You never know what mud can produce. Give it a go yourselves, guys. Just take a piece of mud, leave it in a jar, and see what kind of life becomes of it. Anyway, guys, this has been Frame Nature. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and a comment down below, and I'll see you next time.